right, this is my 1998 GMC K1500, 4x4 step side. These are 2020 Chevy takeoff rims. I like plug and play stuff. So these LEDs, I'm gonna replace the tail lights, the third light on the cab, and the license plate lights. Uh, to take the lights off, one screw here, one screw there, then this rolls out. New lights the same, have those two hooks. Hook in there, rolls shut. There's the plug, plugs right in. The new plug, plug and play. Hardest part is gonna be the resistor here, which you want. Keep the light from blinking super fast, like you have a bulb out. Not space for that behind the light, so I'm gonna mount it up under the fender, run the wire through that hole. Should work out pretty good. Comes with 3M tape on it. I recommend using the tabs for screws, some self tappers. I like these lights because they have the halo C's and LEDs. Came with a halogen bulb. So I bought these LEDs. Here's the LED, the halogen that came in it. Here's the other one. To change that bulb, you just push in this tab here, twist it out, swap the bulb and put it back. There's the cab brake light there. Screw here, screw there. Comes with a new seal, but that's all that is. Two screws, comes off, plug and play. Haven't looked too deep into these. We'll figure that out in a minute. Got the black ones, so the chrome ones, but should turn out good. All right, I'm up under the fender here. Uh, clean this off with Windex and a paper towel. Use that 3M tape to uh, stick it where I wanted. Then I got my screws. Make sure you dry fit it in a spot where a drill can get up in there and drill in or get them screws in there. And my wire's running through that hole from earlier. Set to go. All right, I'll own up to my mistake. Can't run it through this hole. It's where the light hooks. So I uh, ran it through the other light plug port here. And now we're good to go. All right, I've run into a problem. I don't know if this is because it's a step side, but there's a bolt in here. That's rubbing on the connection there. Doesn't want to fold in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that bolt out, go to the hardware store, get a Phillips head that's a flat, maybe a washer, so I don't have all that sticking out. Uh, I don't like those wires rubbing on that bolt so hard in there. Okay, for my bolt problem, it's an eight millimeter 125, the beveled head was the flattest head. Got a washer big enough that it kind of soaks up the bevel. So side by side, it is a little bit of a shorter deal. Plop it in that one hole, the light seems to fit better. Okay, so here's the cab light. Two screws there, pulled those off. The inner portion has one screw here, one screw there. Pull that off. Looks plug and play with the, uh, the new light. Got a new seal in the box, so we'll change out that foam. Clean that off with some Windex. This one is just gonna use the two outer screw holes. I had to go to the hardware store and get some new screws. The old screws were obviously replaced and not replaced to be recessed. So I bought some that I'd like how they look, but pretty simple switch there. All right, lastly, here's the back of that license plate light. Take a screwdriver, hammer maybe, pry this clip off. And then that come out the front there, All right? And they come out the front. Here she is. You twist that to the left, the bulb comes out. And on this one, found it easier to push that in. And then we'll probably, you know, put the twister back together and then push it in, put the clip back in. 
but I'm gonna check that they both work before I put them back in and put the clips in because uh, sometimes these LEDs are polar sensitive, positive and negative. So there we go. All right, lights are on. Just gonna push them back in here, put them clips on, and we'll be done.